um, you know, just um, good to get the first conference win under our belt. And uh, you now we move on to a, a tough non-conference opponent and uh, just get ready. I told you I'm a worn out record, another really good football team uh, that we have to play. So, um, you know, just getting ready and prepared for the next battle. Last week, you guys feel like you learned something about yourselves. You know, I, I do think this football team is just getting better and better. I, I do. Uh, again, I felt, felt like we did a good job offensively uh, last Saturday um, and certainly had a few more opportunities we didn't take advantage of. But I felt like defensively, other than a few plays here or there, we, we, we got a little bit better. I, I thought, uh, again, we made some big plays defensively, so that was a, a big plus. I think offensively, you know, we, we – we operated pretty well, so but we've got to keep that going. That's kind of our mission. Every week, get better. I say that every week, but we do. Uh, this week's no exception. You know, we play an outstanding football team, and we just got to get better. Obviously, Auburn's a different kind of challenge than some teams you face. Mm -hmm. What have you seen from them so far? You know, they're they're an athletic team. I mean, you know, they. they you know, they came off a big beat, Arkansas 34-3. It could have maybe been worse, you know, than that, you know. But uh, they're a good football team. I mean, there's, we, there's no ifs and buts about that. We know we got a good challenge, and, and we know we're playing a, a really good football team. But, again, we got to prepare. And I, I always say this, I worry about one team. I worry about us, you know. And so we got we to gotta get better from week three to week four. And uh, that's our journey, and that's our climb. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I mean, at Southern Miss, we we play SEC teams every year. That's that's part of kind of our DNA. We know they're an athletic football team and a good football team. Uh, we're going to prepare the same way we always do. Uh, that's what we always have done and always will do. Uh, we, we know we know Auburn's a good football team. We're, that doesn't surprise us. But uh, again, we're going to do what we do and prepare and go get ready to play our best. We do. We have quite a few. Uh, again, that's and we've always here. It's other Miss had quite a few kids from Alabama, so we got guys. I know that's a big game for those guys to go back to their home state and play in front of their fans and family and everybody like that. And so it's great, great time for those guys. Do games like this help as much on the recruiting trail as maybe they do? You know, it's who to me. I think it's kind of who we are at Southern Miss. You know, we're always going to play those these games. Uh, and, and again, I think that does help in recruiting because I think um, you know kids want to know you know who you're playing non-conference. And I know we have Alabama and Auburn for the next four years. Uh, uh, next year, I know we play Mississippi State, and you know we have we played LSU, Kentucky, Tennessee in the last th uh, two years. So. Again, we know what we're getting into. We know the challenge that we have ahead of us. Some of the younger guys haven't played in an environment mm -hmm. like this yet. Is there anything you're going to be doing this week to kind of get their mindset ready? Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll, we certainly will do a few different things with noise and things of that. You know, we'll practice and we'll get in the stadium and, and we'll, we'll get them used to that environment. But again, it's part of playing college football and we do have a lot of most of our guys have played and you know, they played at Tennessee they played at Kentucky they've been in those places Auburn's no exception I, I as a player played at Auburn I know the environment that is at Jordan Hare so we know it's a big time environment and you know we it's what happens between those white lines guys you know the crowd's great the fans are great but it's the, between that square box that's what's going to matter and so we got to make sure we're at our best Saturday at three. Mm -hmm. You know, I felt like Travinsky played really well. I felt like he's uh, he made some really good cuts. Steven, I thought, ran the ball strong, ran below his pads. Uh, those two guys, I think, really, uh, really showed a lot of potential and what they can do and who they are. So, and I think that was big. You know, of course, we had you know last week George had a season in an injury. You know, and he's he's a guy that that you know again, God bless him. He was a guy that we we're looking forward to getting back in the mix, but he had a knee injury two weeks ago, and and so I mean, his that's unfortunate. But also, you know, T. Rod left a week ago from the team, so again, Travinsky and Steven were two guys that were 
even two weeks ago up starting to take reps and, and, and uh, you know, there are guys that prove that they're really good football players. Repeat that question to me again. Auburn runs the ball real well. You, know, mm -hmm. you guys prepared mm -hmm. for a, a team that pretty much only runs the ball at the, last week with Rice. Is this something you think is going to translate well to this game? You know, I, well, Rice threw the ball around pretty good against Houston and, and, that, and the games we watched at Hawaii. But, but again, Auburn is a team that can run the ball on you. They're a football team that's talented at quarterback. They've got speed at wide receivers. They may, they may, they're a, they're a team that can um, they, they they give you a lot of different looks, a lot of different things to work on. They're they're multi talented, so it is a big challenge defensively because you do have to stop the run, but you also have to stop the pass. And that's being a defensive coach for a long time. You know you always want to stop the run, but you know if you hold them to to zero yards rushing, but they have 867 yards passing. Guess what? That's not a good day at the office. You know, so you have to be. Uh, aware of of the run and the pass game, and, and that sounds kind of because you hear so many coaches. Always, you do have to stop the run, but yes, guess what? You have to stop the pass too. So, they're a football team again that's talented. They they come at you in many different directions. So uh, again, we know it's a stiff challenge for us defensively, as well as offensively. We they're they're an athletic football team on defense that gives you a lot of looks. So again, we know we're playing a good football team. We know we've got to have a good week of preparation. Mm -hmm. so right. How have you seen that kind of manifest in the last year? You know, um, he, Jalen, I think that's something that was kind of um, built into him by his parents. Uh, Jalen uh, is a young man that has been a hard worker since he got here. I can remember the first time we got out and did conditioning and running as a true freshman. He was a guy that was leading the pack. And so, I think Jalen's uh, motivated. He, he's a, he's driven to be the best he can be, and I think when you see him on Saturday, it's just a result of all the hard work he puts in on the practice fields. So Jalen's a guy that you know he's one of those guys I really don't worry about as far as work ethic and preparation. He, he's he's going to go 100. percent I think it was last week Shannon was talking about Jalen as a blocker. Mm -hmm. so just as a right. Yeah, and he's and he's Jalen's. You know, he, he's a physical young man. He's a strong young man. So again, he's got he's got a lot of great attributes. Uh, again, our receiving core, I do, do think, is a strong bunch as a whole. Uh, so we're, we have the ability to have some physicality out wide, which is critical. You know, you know, especially this day and age in football, have guys out there that can block. Well, you know, one thing as a, as a, the head football coach here, I appreciate the guys that are there at the game. I really do. Uh, again, I love Southern Miss, and you know the the one the fans that are there and come out and support. Uh, again, I, I think we've been pretty consistent now for about really to be honest with you for about ten or fifteen years because what we've done is previously we kind of those numbers were juiced a little bit by student. They were marked about 6,000 ahead of what the actual attendance was. So what we've done is we, we've probably been around that 20 to 23,000 for a while now. But we it would be great to have 35,000 there every Saturday. It would. But the reality is I'm just appreciative of the fans that are there. And that means a lot. Uh, again, I'm one of those guys that, hey, we're going to go out. I know as a football coach, I, we have to worry about our football team, and we're going to go out and do the best we can every Saturday. I think our kids are playing hard. You know, we we had one slip up where we didn't – you know, we had a bunch of errors and we lost by one point. But I will say that this, even that football t game that Saturday night where we lost by one, we, that football team never quit. We were coming back, and we took the ball all the way back down the field in the final seconds of the game to set up a possible game-winning field goal. So I worry about what our football team's doing, and I can tell you from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate the fans that are there every Saturday at the Rock supporting us because we got a lot of great fans that are there, and certainly appreciate them. I know we talked a little on Saturday about Old Dominion's win. Mm -hmm. what Right. Where do you see 
Well, I think Conference U we're always pulling for our brothers in Conference USA. I think that's, a, that's great stuff. Um, again, I think that's always a big thing. The win by Old Dominion was big, uh, Virginia Tech. And so that's something that, again, I think we were all pulling for them. We saw the score when it was 35-35 and 35-28, so we were certainly excited about it. And, and I think that just says a lot about the strength of our conference. Uh, each, each, you know, 10, what do we have, 10 teams bowl eligible last year. Our conference, you know, it's a tough conference. Week in and week out uh, in Conference USA, it's always a battle. So, again, I think a lot of people are probably taking note of, of the strength of our conference. Do you use that this week? Yeah, we do. I mean, we certainly, uh, uh, again, we, we, we always talk about, you know, each game's a different game, you know. I mean, we just watched Auburn beat Arkansas by 40, you know, or 30, you know, five. So we know we're aware that we have a good football team coming into town. I don't – I think it's evident when you watch them on film, you know the the caliber of football team you're playing. But at Southern Miss, that's – you know, that's before I was born. You know, that's who, who we are. We're going to play these games, and, and that's the, the games at Southern Miss that you look forward to playing. But, yeah, we're not naive. We know Auburn's a really good football team. He really did. He, he was very accurate Saturday. I thought Jack had an outstanding game. He uh, he uh, put the ball in play well, and, and uh, he was actually our offensive player of the week defensively. Rayshon Mitchell had a huge play in the second quarter that he was our defensive player. I uh, thought Jeremy Sangster went down to kick off and had some good coverage. I had a big tackle. He was our special teams player of the week. But I felt like Jack uh, did a good job running our offense. Uh, and uh, again, um, you know, that's any time you're playing football, you need really good football play from your quarterback. And Jack certainly provided that Saturday night.